What's going on everyone? Welcome to Health Hacks and Tips. I've got another great video for you all today. We're gonna to be talking about breathing techniques and the actual physiological effects that they have on your body when done correctly. Um, I've talked about the subject in the past, but I'm not, I haven't gone into it as extensively as I'm going to today. So I hope you're all excited. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream. What's up everyone? So today I want to start this discussion off by bringing up an individual by the name of Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F. This is an individual from I believe Holland who has been studied by scientists, universities, and doctors from all over the world um, in various aspects because he has been able to perform extreme feats that would otherwise be impossible by utilizing these breathing techniques that he has developed. Now, Wim Hof is known for several things. He has ran up Mount Everest in nothing but shoes and shorts. No shirt, no kind of cold weather gear, just shoes and shorts running up Mount Everest. Not only that, he's ran several kilometers uh, past the Arctic Circle in the dead of winter in nothing but shorts and shoes. Freezing, freezing temperatures that would otherwise cause... Um, hypothermia, frostbite, things like that. On top of that, he was studied uh, by doctors and scientists and they actually injected his blood with a neurotoxin. And he was able to alter his blood chemistry through breathing techniques to neutralize the neurotoxin. He's been submerged in, in icy, icy water for extended periods of time that should kill the average person. And he's he spends un unimaginable amounts of time and cryotherapy chambers. He's a really crazy guy and if you don't know who he is, I highly, highly recommend that you go and you look up some of the feats he's accomplished and uh, some of the things that he's known for. Um, so he kind of gives credence to the fact that breathing techniques are actually credible and they're backed by science and they do have real physiological effects. Now, the first, one of the first effects that I want to talk about is how it affects your metabolism. So when you incorporate breathing techniques and you super oxygenate your body, you take in more oxygen and you store more oxygen, what happens is you start to metabolize what is called brown adipose tissue, which is basically your body fat, what your body holds on. This brown uh, adipose tissue begins to metabolize. And Wim Hof has shown that you can metabolize it up to a 300% increase resting. That's a crazy, crazy high amount of uh, high rate of fat metabol uh, uh, metabolization. And if you're trying to lose weight and you have difficulty um, with endurance and stamina and you fatigue easily, just by increasing your, your oxygen and by performing breathing techniques, you can actually metabolize fat and stimulate your, uh, your metabolism. And so that is great for a lot of you beginners out there. Plus, by using those breathing techniques and by becoming more skilled at them and by getting used to breathing in particular ways, it will help you build that stamina and endurance to go ahead and begin doing those workouts that you would otherwise have trouble with. On top of that, uh, by incorporating breathing techniques, what happens is you actually start to dump out all of the nitrogen buildup the lactic acid buildup and the uh, carbon dioxide buildup that's in your bloodstream and you replace all of that with oxygen and this causes your blood pH level to rise and to become more alkaline and by having a highly alkaline uh, blood level 
um, what happens is several things start to change within you. Your actual brain chemistry changes, your body chemistry changes, and you see all of these crazy positive effects. One of the effects that you see in your brain chemistry is an increased pro uh, production of the neurotransmitters dopamine, serotonin, and dimethyltryptamine, which are responsible for your mood, for your uh, sleep cycle, and for a lot of other things. On top of that, you also see an increased production in, um, in the, the adrenal system and the hormones that the adrenal system produces, like ad adrenaline, uh, norepinephrine, epinephrine. And these things actually allow you to tap into your fight or flight response and to basically increase your potential to do arduous activity. And uh, basically, it increases your potential to work out. And it gives you, literally gives you strength and focus. And on top of that, it affects your blood chemistry so that by getting rid of the lactic acid buildup, what's happening is your muscles will actually fatigue less. And so you can perform activity for a longer period of time. Not only that, it also changes your, uh, your, your T cell and your B cell count. And so within your immune system, you have different uh, 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 white blood cells and different blood cells, different... Um, different immune system cells that are responsible for keeping you healthy. And normally you have your, your, your white blood cells are at, you know, they should be in a certain range. And usually your T cells and your B cells, which are in your bone marrow, are at a very low level. And so, or, or rather they're at a, a lower level than normal and they only, um, be re they, they only release and pr uh, produce more when it's necessary for them. Well, what happens is when you do those breathing exercises, you're actually stimulating an increased number of the T cells and the B cells, and you're positively affecting your immune system, which makes you healthier, and it has a, a wide range of effects. Um, so with, with your, blood, uh, your blood chemistry and your brain chemistry, there's actual uh, physiological changes that occur when you incorporate breathing techniques. On top of this, uh, particular breathing techniques stimulate what's called your vagus nerve. Now, your vagus nerve is a, uh, a nerve that's a part of your central nervous system, and it goes from your brain stem down through your body, and what it's responsible for is all of the involuntary functions that occur in your body. So, for example, your heartbeat, your breathing while you sleep, your digestion, your adrenal response, things like that. And so by stimulating your vagus nerve, you actually slow down your heart rate. And by increasing your oxygen and slowing your heart rate, you're basically making yourself live longer and you're reducing your risk for heart disease, um, for heart attack, uh, all kinds of things that affect your cardiovascular system. Not only that, by slowing your heart rate and by increasing your oxygen intake, you're, you're, what's happening now is with the added increase of the dopamine and the serotonin and the dimethyltryptamine and with the lower heart rate, you're actually affecting your mood. So now you're going to be happier. You're going to be more calm. You're going to reduce anxiety. I'm not saying you're going to cure anxiety, but you're going to reduce your anxiety levels and you're going to re uh, reduce your cortisol levels and your cortisol levels are responsible for your stress. It's basically the stress chemical in the body. And you see high amounts of stress um, while working out. And um, you know, even if you're just driving in traffic, traffic can cause a high cortisol response. And you know, um, so, so by being able to control that cortisol response, you're reducing your stress, you're reducing your anxiety, and you're basically setting yourself up for all of these positive changes to take place. Um, and there's so much more in relation to these breathing exercises that I could make dozens of videos on it, but I don't want to go too, too crazy into it. This is just an initial video to kind of introduce the concept to you all. So again, if you are new to the idea of breathing techniques, um, look up the guy named Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, or you can go to my Instagram at Cafe Oso Fitness, C-A-F-E-O-S-O -O Fitness, and I've posted some videos on breathing techniques that you can do at home or while you're standing in line for groceries or what have you. And if you watch those videos, you can actually learn a few breathing techniques for yourself and you can start incorporating them. 
I personally do breathing uh, technique uh, exercises when I wake up and before I go to sleep. Sometimes uh, I, I don't, uh, I'm not consistent with it. I try and do it um, as often as possible. I'm trying to incorporate it into my daily routine, um, but I've, I've only recently really got into it. And I've only recently really focused on these breathing techniques, but they're great for everything from from managing anxiety and managing stress to actually increasing your metabolic rate and getting rid of that brown adipose tissue or the lipids, the fat in your body. It's good for if you're working out for increasing your stamina and endurance. It's good for your immune system if you're sick. It's good for a lot of things. And it's also good for managing pain. I didn't go into that. I'll probably make another video in relation to that. Um, but also with those cortisol levels being reduced, it can reduce pain. So I just wanted to go ahead and present that to you all. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll have more content coming to you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Captain Yoso, Brown Bear. Uh, health hacks and tips. You know, have a wonderful day.